Hi, my name is Dominic Müller-Wicki. I'm one of the Spectrum Protect portfolio architects. Today I will present you a new member in the Spectrum Protect portfolio, which is called IBM Spectrum Protect Plus Online Services for Microsoft 365. In the next minutes, you will hear me talking about IBM Spectrum Protect Plus Online Services, which is actually a new SaaS solution provided from IBM and used to protect Microsoft 365 workloads. I will go deeper into the details on which these workloads are in the next minutes. Furthermore, you will learn on a high level why customers should protect their Microsoft 365 data in addition to the data protection that is built in with the Microsoft service. Finally, you will learn how customers can license IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services to meet their requirements. So SaaS is actually means software as a service and is typically a software licensing model where the software is maintained and hosted centrally and the user just logs in and uses the software and there's no need to install something locally or to keep any infrastructure up and current on the customer side. This is all maintained from the provider of the SaaS software. IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services is the new IBM data protection SaaS platform, and it is used to protect Microsoft 365 workloads. And Microsoft 365, as you probably know, is a subscription model of Microsoft that includes and adds to the Microsoft Office product line. The first question we will try to answer is why a customer or a user of Microsoft 365 should have additional protection in combination to the basic data protection that is provided from Microsoft itself. So there could be different types of error that happens to the data. For example, a user could have misplaced a document in OneDrive and does not find anymore this document. That would be an initial use case for a um, recovery from backup. Or a document version that is currently used is corrupted and all the changes that I did in the last minutes or hours are missing. And I want to restore the previous version of this document. Another use case could be that someone accidentally deleted a planner task and can't find the history anymore. So that's something where you probably want to use a recovery tool to bring back your latest settings on this planner task. These are typical user-driven errors, but there could also be admin-driven errors. For example, that an admin has updated apps on a site, but need to roll back some of the changes. And this has impact because the rollback of these changes may affect other data that is still good and should not be rolled back. But the granularity of the rollback does not allow to roll back just a single app on the site. Or there could be a broken inheritance on the site and the peoples can't see the files anymore. So this could be another reason that customers want to recover the data from a data protection. Another example, one of your employees left the company six months ago and you want to recover the mailbox that was soft deleted at the time the employee left the company, but you forgot to set the right retention policies and your soft deleted mailbox of this user is already removed from Microsoft from the service. If you look at the Microsoft 365 usage and license terms, for the Microsoft 365 service. So Microsoft sees the responsibility on their side when it comes to any hardware infrastructure failures in their data centers. That is something they are responsible for and they will recover or any natural disaster that could happen to their service and cause an outage of the service. On the other hand, Microsoft sees the responsibility for data loss events on the customer sides. If, for example, due to departing employees, 
accounts were deactivated and deleted after the soft delete time ended. Or there could be malicious insiders and hacktivists on customer side that actually damaged data or deleted data. This is also a responsibility that's on user side and can be recovered using a backup and recovery tool. Furthermore, the loss of data due to malware ransomware attacks. For example, you are using OneDrive to sync data from your local computer into the Microsoft service and your local computer is affected from ransomware. This would immediately mean that the next sync of this data into OneDrive would sync the encrypted versions of your files and store them in the OneDrive. Imagine you have access to not just your OneDrive, but to a team OneDrive or a OneDrive on a site that is shared with a team. This could affect a lot of people if it happens. Furthermore, Microsoft wants the user to do recovery from prolonged outages or from long-term accidental deletion coverage with selective rollbacks. IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services for Microsoft 365 was implemented to exactly fill these use cases, to protect the data that is in Microsoft 365 and to provide the ability to recover the data if it was deleted or it got lost. IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services is a 100% software as a service solution that means there's no infrastructure required on the customer side for that. Actually, a zero infrastructure cost happen for the customer. Furthermore, the updates of the service and the fixed deployment is fully automated and will be handled from IBM. So there's no need on customer side to update the service or to do any fixed deployments to the software. Due to the usage of Azure environments and infrastructure and the nature of the software stack that is implemented, the service availability can be counted with 99.9%, .9%, which allows in most of the cases that the service is accessible and can be used for backup and recovery. In the initial rollout, four cloud instances will be enabled for the service will be one in the US and US East and one in Canada. And there will be another one in Germany and another one in the UK. The service comes with two different license options. One of the license is that the customer can use the storage that is provided from IBM, which is actually Azure Blob Storage. And this storage can be used as a backup target. This license option means that the customer does not need to have any infrastructure locally and also no storage locally and can just use the IBM provided service and the IBM provided storage for the backup and the recovery. The second license option, bring your own storage, which means the customer may have already its own AWS or Azure storage and can use this online storage as a target for the backup operation. Beside AWS and Azure storage, there's also the possibility to use on-prem storage like FTP and enable this as a target for the backup. Both license options will be handled on a per user per month based and can be bought on a one, two or three year base. IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services for Microsoft 365 provides automatic backups for a maximum of four times per day, for SharePoint Online, OneDrive for Business, for Teams, for Exchange Online, for Project Online, and for Microsoft Groups. There's a lot of flexibility to configure the backup in these four times per day executions and allow pine crane configuration to achieve the requirements for backup operation. For example, it's possible to configure the service in a way that high priority mailboxes or SharePoint sites will be backed up first and others will be backed up later. In combination with the backup, IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online services for Microsoft 365 provides a granular restore functionality for in-place or out-place restore. That means the customer can search for a mailbox, for example, and recover the full mailbox back to the original mailbox 
or to a different mailbox. But the customer could also go in such a mailbox and search for a single mail and recover a single mail into the production mailbox or in a different mailbox. Furthermore, the service provides the ability to export the backup data into different formats. For mailbox, that would mean to export in PST format and can be downloaded in PST format so that the backup data can be used locally or additional copies of the backup data can be created. For SharePoint sites and OneDrive and other sources that are protected, this means that it can be exported in zip format and also be used locally in this format. To ensure that the service can be monitored, a lot of functionality is implemented to enable monitoring and reporting of the protected content and also the operations of the service. Whether you bring your own storage or use IBM storage, you retain the full control over the protected content. And in all the cases, the monitoring and reporting will help to understand if the backup processing was successful or failed. You can use the dashboard of the service to get this information, or you can enable email reporting to get this information sent via email. The high-level architecture of IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online service for Microsoft 365 is that the portal itself is running in an Azure instance that is hosted from IBM. And when logging to this instance and configuring the service, the portal will connect to the Microsoft 365 tenant and will provide backup and recovery for Exchange Online, OneDrive for Business, SharePoint Online, Teams, Microsoft 365 Groups, Project Online, Public Folders, and Yammer. In the license models that was discussed and described before, one of the license will provide IBM provided Azure Blob Storage as a target for the backup operation. All the backup data will go into this IBM provided Azure Blob Storage. In the second license model, the customer can bring their own storage and can use for that the options Azure Storage or S3, which includes AWS and all AWS compatible S3 storages, which can be off-prem or on-prem. It includes FTP and SFTP, and it includes the option to enable Dropbox as a target for the backup and recovery. The first contact of a user with IBM Spectrum Protect Plus online service for Microsoft 365 will be the login. The URL to this login is globally the same. And the login requires to log in with Microsoft credentials. And this account that is used must be a tenant owner of a Microsoft 365 tenant. After login to the portal, you will land on the main portal for the service. And in this main portal, the major configuration will be done, which means the connection to the Office 365 tenant will be established and some high level configuration for monitoring and reporting and also the scanning of the Microsoft 365 account will be configured here. After the configuration has finished, you can go to the sub portion of this portal, which is used for Microsoft 365 protection and recovery and find there details about the backup processing, the setup for the backup and configuration for the backup, but also options to do some job monitoring and reporting for specific backup and recovery jobs. Furthermore, and that's one of the major functionality, the recovery happens in this portal as well. That means you can go to the restore and find the objects you want to restore and restore them to the original, to a different account, or export the data to local and download the data with your browser functionality. This brings me to the end of the presentation. The URL of the service is the same worldwide. It's called spponlineservices.ibm.com, and that is probably the first contact with your service if you want to log in the first time. I encourage you to have a look at other videos that will be available that go deeper into the functionality and describe in more detail how this portal works and how it can be used. Thank you for listening.